Hello out there, once again, internet friends, Georgie Joe, I am in you, live here on YouTube, for those of you watching the rebroadcast, talking about food once again on this edition, and one thing we've learned over the years of doing the brew here, you guys love to chat about food, let a mountain area your answers to this question. What's the best food in a diner? Everybody loves diner food, it's, it's, it's you gotta be your go-to, every place you live's got a good local diner, great greasy spoons, the question is, what is your go-to meal when you go to one? I know I have my answer and a few tips coming up on the show here. There's Joel out there live in Vegas. So Joel, what's your uh, go-to food at a diner? Okay, so this is the perfect combo meal. It's like after a hard day's work, it's like midnight or 1 a.m. And you just want to go sit somewhere in the dark and chill and have, uh, have a simple meal. So it's New York steak and eggs. You get the steak medium well with some A1 sauce, hash browns with some ketchup, scrambled eggs with some hot sauce with one little slice of orange. And then you get like a fat tired beer. That's like the perfect meal combo at the end of the day. Oh, you had to say eggs. You know me and the eggs. <laughs> no, no eggs. <laughs> Everybody loves eggs. All right, my two-go-to meal, though, that I love at a diner, pancakes. 99% of the diners you go to have the best pancakes. And here's a Jersey Joe tip if those of you don't remember me dropping this before. It's also a great hangover food. There used to be a good local diner here in Jersey City right at the exit of the Holland Tunnel. It's long gone now. But it was one of those real like 1950s dirty greasy spoon antique diners. So the grill was like covered in grease and stuff. But I'll tell you what, after like being out on a hard night of drinking in New York City, you'll get those pancakes. Fix you right up. Pancakes, you know, with some bacon and sausage. You need the big breakfast. So that's, that's, that's my answer. You in Vegas though, so Hash House of Go Go is a great place to go to. It's not a diner, but it has diner food. Yeah, I was about to say, that's like a good hybrid for anybody that knows what that is. When you go out and about, like every place you go to pretty much has an old fashioned dining car somewhere or a good truck stop that has a diner too. So they are to go foods. And it's, it's definitely, I think, an American thing. It's not something you're really going to find like overseas in the UK. You know, you're not going to find that in Europe or in Spain. But America, though, I think that's definitely like a classic 1950s kitsch part of America, if you will. Am I, am I wrong in thinking that? No, that's exactly what I think of, too, and I think that's probably true for most people. That's, like, what it's identifiable. Well, if you're not hungry right now by watching this episode, you will be in a moment because we're going to share a ton of your ideas for the best food at diner because you said, Mrs. Bolas 2015 says, a bacon cheeseburger. Got that right. Von Shankies agrees. Cheeseburger deluxe or scrambled eggs all the way. Meat optional. Ugh, there we go. All right, Joel, what about an omelet? Does that count? I mean, I know you like scrambled eggs, but how about an omelet? Yes, omelets count. That's a good, that's an also a good alternative. And I see you there in the diner right now taking that little Tabasco sauce and dumping the hell out of that little bottle. Me, you know, I'm dumping ketchup and everything at the diner too. So you definitely, everybody has their like to-go little condiment there that you got to go with too. Yeah, mine's the hottest hot sauce that they have. Whatever the A1 is, the top. All right, well, more of your comments right now. Lots more because Sue comments. She says, country fried steak with white gravy and sends a beautiful slow motion gift that looks like it walked right off the Food Network. Tara says, I say pie. What do you all say? That's another good thing because one thing we haven't talked about yet are diner desserts. Diners make the best desserts. You usually find the best pies. All right, so if you, you're getting a dessert, I'm going for a hot fudge sundae, but what are you getting for dessert? Are you going for a pie and what kind? Uh, brownie, for sure, brownie. That's the A1. That's the best. That's the third time I've said A1 in this episode because that's how good this shit is. Or else you drop the deal with the A1 Corporation, get yourself some free steak sauce. That's okay. You can use that at a diner, I too. I would like some, yeah. <laughs> it's a fine product, don't get me wrong. But their homemade pies, like if I have the choice, I definitely want a warm apple pie like Alamo, a nice side of ice cream on the side. But I, I don't know, something for me, I like those big tulip glasses of, of a hot fudge sundae, you know, the nice, especially if they have a soft serve machine, that's license, just take my money, license to print money right there. That's, but more of your comments, Rock Guitar, he says, Mulligatani soup with squashed pumpkin pie, he's going upscale. T. Robles V, also going upscale with buttery lobster and Gruyere. Gruyere, uh, lobster mac and cheese from Top's Diner. Don't worry, we're live. Mike Tool sends a whole list. He says, number one, pancakes. Number two, meatloaf. Number three, hamburger. Number four, pie. Now, there's a meal if you're looking to, like, extend your money and really be full. Meatloaf. You like you like yourself a good meatloaf? Uh, not really. That's not, I'm not a fan. Anything that uh, it's called meatloaf makes me think I mean, like, human meat or something. It just doesn't sound right. Gross. Most places add gravy to their meatloaf, but the Pittsburgh of me, where I'm from, you dump ketchup on it. You need a, lots of Heinz ketchup on the top. That's your glaze, not gravy. Ketchup. You doing that? Right. <laughs> yeah. Ryan comments. He says, a triple-decker club sandwich with no tomatoes. Oh, that's good. Chris says, uh, the classic Jersey diner order is Taylor ham. Eggs and cheese on a hard roll with disco fries. He sends a pic of the Taylor ham. Although North Jersey's Taylor ham, South Jersey, it's pork roll. I eat the Trenton Thunder named their team after. And then he also sends a side of fries with gravy. 
So basically, it's a fried ham sandwich. Now, I know you don't have anything like that out on the West Coast, but would you give it a try? Yeah, sure, of course. And basically, it's kind of, it's not quite bacon, not quite baked ham, but you're kind of along that way. Put enough mustard on there. It, it's fine. Scooters McGavin comments. He says, diner pancakes are always big and fluffy. Agrees with me. April G702. Breakfast. All of it. Potatoes, eggs, bacon, sausage, and pancakes. That's the one other thing, too, I want to go back to about the diner breakfast. When you do get breakfast at a diner, you realize it's like, even here in the city, you can get a massive breakfast cheap, like five bucks, and you got yourself a meal. So value-wise, it's always great. That's the great thing about diners. That's the, the value. That's also why it's a great place to get staff. Anytime you get somewhere with great value, like Walmart or a diner or Craigslist, it's perfect. I'm surprised nobody said coffee because that's like truckers stop at diners oh, on the interstate yeah, yeah. because they got to have the coffee. You need the caffeine and, and at least a men's room. That is a good point. If you think of like uh, like a poster on a wall of a diner, of like a 50s diner, you think of like a cup of coffee being like on the table. I'm going to ask you a question I bet you don't know the answer to. Do you remember the TV show Alice? Have you ever heard of it? No. <laughs> it, it's from the 80s. It's set in a diner. And that's what, there's a chain of Mel's Diners. And it's actually from that show. And it was basically just their goings on. Diner. It was on for like eight or nine years. It was on for a long time. Pretty good show. And it basically, you follow the lives of the waitresses in the diner and the cook too. So, you know, it was really a great show and gave you that classic. I think it was set in Phoenix, but it gave you that classic American diner experience. So thought we should at least mention that on this dish. You know, this is talking about diner food here. But more of your food at your pool, too. He says meatloaf. Oh, Joel, there's your meatloaf again. Or if I'm down south, cabbage rolls. I don't know what that is. Bronx Bombers 46 says crab cake and crab soup. And the really mad treat wraps up the show with this answer. Yankee pot roast, or if they have Manhattan clam chowder, I got to go there. But got to have a black cow to drink as well. Joel, I learned something from this web show. Do you know what a black cow is? No. Okay, so it's a classic diner drink. I wasn't sure. I thought I knew it was. It's actually basically a root beer float. To, but to be an actual black cow, you replace the root beer and you dump Coke in it. And you can also add booze if you want to. So it's definitely a, a, a diner standard. Depends on which part of the country you're from, whether it's root beer or Coke. I might be wrong with that. But hey, I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, right? Like if one of those wheeled out in front of me right now, I'd get in on that. Why, why not? Yeah, f*** it. You know, here's a million-dollar question, though. I don't think you and I and all of our trips have actually ate in an old-fashioned diner. We ate at Hash House there in, in, in Vegas and a couple we of places. We have here in Vegas. We ate at the one that's on Fremont Street. It was a long time ago. It was, uh, it was, like, it was probably like five or six years ago. But we did. It was, we could barely speak English, and it was like five in the morning. We were eating these big sloppy hamburgers. Yeah, well, that's the fun part of Vegas. God bless the fact that, that town is open 24 hours. And that's a good thing about most diners, too. They are open 24 hours. I would drive back to Pennsylvania from here and be up in the middle of Interstate 80 in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. Well, you knew you could at least stop at a diner, and if you needed to get, like, a soft drink refreshment or at least go to the bathroom, they'd be open, ready to serve you. So that, that's the great thing about it. It's safety for everybody, good safety break for truckers and stuff. One other thing too, it's always a good break when you click that like subscribe button down below for all the fun here. The Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel, four big shows waiting for you each and every week. And yes, lots more brew episodes too where we talk about food because, well, come on, everybody loves food. And right now with the way the world is, it's a great escape. And I can't wait till we're all traveling again because I do want to get out and just hit a nice diner. New Jersey and New York here, they're plentiful. God bless it. That's one of the bonuses living here. And they're plentiful out in Nevada area too, aren't they? Oh yeah, there's a million of them out here. They're all over the Southwest. All right, we'll wrap this up. Jersey Joe here, Ion saying thanks for watching. Thanks for all your great answers, and we'll see you next time, I hope.